Jerry Murphy was there for the rainy and windy matchup. The weather in Corvallis was horrendous. Rain and 30 mile per hour winds. Not many big plays, but here's one. The Ducks' Ricky Whittle takes the toss and cuts toward the sideline. He zips 48 yards all the way down to the OSU 25. Oregon gets nothing, though. Tommy Thompson's 37-yarder knocked down by the breeze. The Beavers had great field position in the first quarter, but did little. Mark Olford to Maurice Wilson to the Oregon 22. The drive stalls, and OSU tries some trickery, but no go on the fake field goal. Still scoreless. Oregon State fumbled eight times, losing two of those. This one by Olford gives Oregon the ball at the OSU 22. The Ducks position themselves with a 16-yard pass from Danny O'Neill to Kristen McLemore. First and goal at the three. Next play, the floater to tight end Willie Tate for the touchdown. At halftime, Oregon 7, Oregon State nothing. In the second half, it rained even harder. Another duck field goal try, and it's Keystone Cops time. The goofy pass gets picked off. Beaver ball near midfield, but nothing comes of it. Still 7-0 in the final moments. One last chance for Oregon State. They try the fumble Ruski from the Duck 42, but Fletcher Keister fumbles, and Oregon recovers. The Ducks still have bowl hopes after a 7-0 Civil War win. Now they are qualified for the bowl. We had hoped that they would be 7-4, but we're happy to have them 6-5 now. Um, their chances have improved not only because they've won, but also because a couple of teams we're looking at uh, were not that fortunate today. A great job by the Duck defense. They allow Oregon State just 110 yards of total offense. We had guys flying around on the ball most of the time, and, uh, you know, we just stuffed them, and that feels real good. There was a couple of times uh, out there today where we lost our poise, and, uh, and that's something that uh, when you get in this kind of a, of a game, uh, when, when you do that, that's going to uh, affect you. Miserable afternoon in Corvallis. Rain and 30-mile-an-hour winds. Perfect weather, though, if you like defense. The Ducks put the stop to the OSU spread option with plays like this one from linebacker Ernest Jones. Late in the second quarter, the Beavers make a turnover that would wind up costing them the ball game. Mark Olford loses it. Joe Farwell recovers for Oregon at the 22-yard line. And the Ducks would take it on in. Danny O'Neill throws it up for grabs, and Willie Tate wins the jump ball with Zach Davis Oregon takes a 7-0 lead at halftime. Second half, the Beavers would go with last year's Civil War hero Ian Shields at quarterback. He gets OSU moving, but penalties would kill a potential game-time drive in the third. Still 7-0 late in the game, and the nail in the coffin for the Beavers. They fumble the fumble Ruski. The Ducks recover and hold on to win Civil War number 96, 7-0. Oregon State is kind of to us is kind of like our little brother you know you beat up on your little brother all the time and then every now and then he gets mad and all of a sudden he just you know cracks you in the face and you, and then he runs off you know and you're just sitting there just going out oh, with a sore chin you know and uh, you know we beat up on him we're gonna keep beating up on him for years to come I'm proud that we were able to play as well uh, against Oregon as we, we did today uh, we had our opportunities uh, to get back uh, in the game and uh, you know those are things that we'll have to look look back on and hopefully uh, learn from when we get ourselves in this kind of situation. A few ducks from taunting Oregon State by touching Benny Beaver before the game. Nothing worked for Oregon State in the first half. They went for the fake field goal, and Strasser was belted on the pitiful sight to behold. Oregon State only had 21 yards of total offense in the first half. This was the worst Beaver mistake. Mark Alford fumbled. Terrell Aldridge recovered him. That set up the touchdown. Danny O'Neill to Willie Tate, who leaped for the jump ball, and it was 7-0 Oregon at halftime. And once again, the Ducks taunted Oregon State by touching Benny Beaver when they headed to the locker room. The driving rain made play miserable and sloppy the rest of the way. It was still 7-0 Ducks early in the fourth. Then Oregon fumbled while headed for a score. The Beavers recovered, but could not capitalize. Then the Beavers had a second excellent chance. Oregon blew the field goal attempt. Duck must they threw it up for grabs. Oregon State intercepted that baby, but again, the Beavers could not capitalize. Then the Ducks put the hammer down the rest of the game, and at the end, the Ducks did their dance. It looked as bad as the game, but it's a bowl for the Ducks, man. It's a bowl. They avenged last year's loss, beating the Beavers 7 to nothing. Yeah, it was a tough game, and 
you know, it's a great feeling to go out like that as a senior. And, uh, you know, I'm glad our team pulled it out. Talk about bowls now. Or do you want to go and do you have a preference to which one you go to? Yeah, we'd love to go. Um, as far as a preference, I don't think we're going to have a choice. So, um, you know, any bowl that uh, is willing to take us, we'll be more than happy to go, I'm sure. Well, I don't know that we re-own it. I don't know that we ever gave it up. I'm proud of our football team. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm proud that we were able to play as well uh, against Oregon as we, we did today. Uh, we had our opportunities uh, to get back uh, in the game. And, uh, and, you know, those are things that we'll have to look, look back on and hopefully uh, learn from when we get ourselves in this kind of situation again. Now, here's a little more on the bowl situation. Here's what we know. It looks like the Ducks will be going to the Independence Bowl because of what happened up in Pullman today and the fact that Wisconsin lost. It looks like the Ducks will be going to the Independence Bowl at noon Monday down at the University of Oregon. There will be a meeting and it will be made official. Expect the Ducks to... Jerry Murphy was in Corvallis for today's stormy matchup. The weather in Corvallis was horrendous. Rain and 30 mile per hour winds. Not many big plays, but here's one. The Ducks' Ricky Whittle takes the toss and cuts toward the sideline. He zips 48 yards all the way down to the OSU 25. Oregon gets nothing, though. Tommy Thompson's 37 yarder knocked down by the breeze. Oregon State fumbled eight times, losing two of those. This one by Olford gives Oregon the ball at the OSU 22. The Ducks position themselves with a 16-yard pass from Danny O'Neill to Kristen McLemore. First and goal at the three. Next play, the floater to tight end Willie Tate for the touchdown. At halftime, Oregon 7, Oregon State nothing. In the second half, it rained even harder. Another Duck field goal try, and it's Keystone Cops time. The goofy pass gets picked off. Beaver ball near midfield, but nothing comes of it. Still 7-0 in the final moments. One last chance for Oregon State. They try the fumble Ruski from the Duck 42, but Fletcher Keister fumbles and Oregon recovers. The Ducks still have bowl hopes after a 7-0 Civil War win. Now they are qualified for the bowl. We had hoped that they would be 7-4, but we're happy to have them 6-5 now. Uh, their chances have improved not only because they've won, but also because a couple of the teams we're looking at uh, were not that fortunate today. Head of Owens Beavers end up one. A meeting on Monday to decide who they want. The Ducks finish the regular season 6-5 after sloshing their way past the Beavers. The final 7-0 in the wind and rain at Parker Stadium. Eric Johnson was there and has the story. The rain was pouring down in sheets. The wind was blowing all over the place. Perfect weather for a duck, wouldn't you say? The first half was dominated by the defenses, or perhaps the lack of offenses. Ricky Whittle did have a big gainer for the Ducks on this play, but Tommy Thompson's field goal attempt was wide left. Scoreless tie. Midway through the second quarter, the OSU Beavers got within field goal range, but their fake attempt met with disaster. Kevin Strasser had absolutely nowhere to go. Late in the first half now, the big break of the game. Mark Olford fumbled at his own 22. The Ducks recovered the ball. A little bit later, Danny O'Neill went to the air, threw up a jump ball, and Willie Tate pulled it down. Touchdown, Ducks. They took a 7-0 lead into halftime. Penalties decimated Oregon State in the second half. The Beavers would try the fumble Ruski, but Jeff Cummins wasn't fooled. The drive stalled to the fourth quarter now. Still 7-zip. The cheerleaders were drenched. The fans were having a blast, and the Duck defense, led by Ernest Jones, kept pouring it on. The clock wound down, and the Ducks had themselves a hard-fought, soaking wet 7-0 win and redemption for what happened a year ago. We own this league, baby! We got it! This one's a great one. I mean, this one's the best one in a long time that I felt. You know, they they came in here just, you know, we own the state video. I mean, this and that. And, you know, we just, you know, we did what we had to do today. and couldn't get it going, you know. We just kept shooting ourselves in the foot. And I don't know whether it was due to the intensity of the Civil War or what, you know. But uh, we just let it get away from us. And... In Corvallis, Eric Johnson, News 8 Sports. Meanwhile, less than 8,000 fans braved the bad weather.